For years, lawmakers have been fighting for ways to increase Social Security benefits. And so far, over the past few years, nothing can get done. But there are reports now that are indicating that President Biden does plan to restart these discussions in early 2023, as long as Democrats remain in control of the House and the Senate. Now, I want to just provide you with a quick little warning. I'm not here to uh, you know, pitch the Democratic Party. I'm not here to bash them either. But I want to be very clear on something. The plan is for President Biden to restart discussions on Social Security increases if Democrats remain in control of, of well, the House and the Senate. That's the promise, right? The promise. And I say this because we've had other promises. Remember, back before President Biden was president, he promised that if you vote for him, he would provide a $200 boost to every single Social Security recipient. That has not happened. He also promised student loan forgiveness. That took him almost two years to get it done. So this is the issue. Is And again, this is why I'm not saying, hey, go vote for Democrats, because even though this is what they're saying, it doesn't mean it's actually going to happen. And I want to explain why. But first, let's address what the, the, the plan is. Because there's actually a, a multi-step plan. I want to break down what this is because it's not complicated. But what is more difficult is getting Congress to agree and to fund this entire plan. So here's what we know at this time. First, they want to increase taxes on wealthier Americans. That's what the plan is. Now, the current income cap for uh, Social Security taxes is going to be 100, well, not going to be, it is roughly $147,000 per year. But President Biden wants to increase this cap to include anybody making over $400,000 per year. However, there is a little bit of an issue here. His promise to not increase taxes to anybody making less than $400,000 per year um, this means that there's going to be a gap because again, he said no new taxes to anybody making less than $400,000 per year. This means that the current social security tax of up to $147,000 will be, you know, will be held. And then there'll be a gap all the way till 400,000. And then those people that make over $400,000 per year would see additional taxes. You see why this is a problem? First off, I think this would, is ripe for fraud. But the reason why Congress can't agree is because Congress doesn't agree that we are going to increase taxes to more people, but there's going to be a, 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 like a gap. Like, why is there a gap? Now, in addition, Congress doesn't agree to this, or uh, some people don't agree, because they are trying to figure out how to bring uh, or provide more benefits. The issue is to provide more benefits, we have to increase revenue. And that is why there's so many different you know, plans, ideas, and discussions. But again, nothing's really moving forward because of President Biden's uh, uh, pretty much limit and promise of nobody making less than $400,000 per year will see a penny more in taxes. Again, I addressed this uh, last week as well. And I said, one of the things that... Uh, that we are seeing and that we've been hearing is that some Democrats are actually wanting to see President Biden not rerun because if he doesn't rerun, then they can get somebody else in who didn't provide a promise to uh, not increase taxes. And then guess what? They're gonna increase taxes, okay? So that's the first one. The next one, they want to increase benefits to older retirees. And now you're probably thinking, well, why older retirees? Well, here's the reason why. Due to the fact that the American people are living longer, they're also running out of money, running out savings a little bit earlier, and now they're being forced to pretty much live entirely off of Social Security benefits. Now, obviously, this is a huge problem. And right now, this is why there's been talks of increasing benefits to beneficiaries over the age of 80, over the age of 80 years old. Now, the increase isn't going to be huge, but it's going to be a 5% increase according to reports. And again, these are just discussions. There's no bill. Okay, there's nothing being voted on at this time. 
These are just the discussions. Now, the reason for this uh, is to give older retirees a better quality of life and give them the resources needed to continue to pay for everyday items. But again, the only problem with this plan is that it would actually speed up the time frame when Social Security would become insolvent by increasing benefits by 5%. But again, it's only for those that are 80 years uh, of age or older, okay? So that's a pretty big thing, that's a pretty big boost. For people that are over the age of 80 that are still receiving Social Security, you're probably thinking, well, I would absolutely love that. So that's also in the discussions. Uh, one of the other ones, uh, it, and this is more of a, uh, kind of something that's been probably the easiest thing to get adjusted would be uh, how they how they come up with the cost of living adjustment. And right now, uh, going over the what the CPIU or whatever um, or CPIW, uh, they want to go over the CPI uh, E. That's how they want to uh, you know move forward with the cost of living adjustment. But again, that's something that is still up for discussion. And as of right now, I don't think that's gonna gonna happen. But again. That's probably the easiest thing to get done. The next one, and this is something that President Biden has promised that he, and he's actually done a proposal on this, is to increase the minimum benefit. Right now, the minimum benefit's like $950 a month or something like that, something very close to that. But President Biden, he has proposed increasing the amount to uh, $1,340. And that'd be the minimum amount per month. But the only way you could actually uh, receive this if you have worked at least 30 years or more. That's the only way. So again, the issue is getting Congress to accept any of these deals. And as of right now, Congress will not accept these because they can't agree as to how to fund any of these plans. But here's what I can tell you. Social Security is going to see many changes over the next couple years. Now, and again, I, I want to just you know, be very clear on this. I'm not saying go vote for Democrats. Okay? I'm not saying go and do that because we've seen time and time again where a Democrat would promise a certain thing like a $2,000 stimulus check and nope, you're not getting $2,000. You're only going to get $1,400 because the previous administration already gave you $600. We've seen that. They also said, hey, we promise we're going to give you uh, up to $10,000 in student debt forgiveness. Yeah, and then they pretty much hold on to you and dangle the carrot in front of your face for about two years before they decide, you know what? Yeah, we're gonna do this. Okay. And then they promise $200 per month to all social security recipients. All you gotta do is vote for Democrats. That's it. And many people did and nothing happened. So again, I'm not saying go vote for Democrats because if they remain in control of the House and the Senate, this is gonna pass. Okay, and I say this because the House, let's say Democrats remain in control. Okay, that's gonna easily going to pass. But then you get over to the Senate. How does the Senate get something passed? Well, first it needs to have 60 votes. And if it doesn't have 60 votes, okay, that's the filibuster. And Democrats uh, have, are having a tough time getting 60 votes on anything. And then if that can't happen, there's something called a budget resolution where Democrats can vote for a bill and only needs 51 votes, only needs a simple majority. Guess what? Kamala Harris is the tie-breaking vote right now because they're tied 50 to 50. If Democrats, let's say they remain in control and it's 50 to 50, 50 Democrats, 50 Republicans in the Senate, guess what? It is going to be almost impossible to get something for Social Security to pass. And it's because of people like Senator Joe Manchin. So keep this in mind. If Democrats remain in control and it's 50 to 50, nothing's going to change. Democrats would actually need multiple seats, multiple additional seats in the Senate in order for this to be an easier road. All right. So that's what we know at this time. As always, as I know more, I promise I'll come back on and share all latest news and updates again. Just want to thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.